This is a small stagecoach, which is the first towable wagon that I made for the kids to take them out in. There's a table in there, so I could get them in there, shut the door, and then I could pass some food through the windows. This is the first towable car that I built for the kids because they were getting too big to get into the stagecoach, so this was a bit better. As they got too big to go into the green car, I ended up making them a bigger car, which was better really. I could pick them up from school, then I could take them up to the deal up the seafront on the promenade, then I could get them some chips, love them so they could have their tea sitting in the car. This is a six-wheeler that I made so that I could put another car on the back of it so I could drive two of the kids up there, get another car off the back so they could both have a drive around in one of the cars. As they've got bigger, this is a kind of a dinner wagon so I can take them out in this. You can even get a couple of adults to sit in this one because it's got a table as well fitted. This is a towable wagon that I made and I was taking my rubbish around the dump, towing it with one of the mobility scooter cars. But since I've made the Jeep, the kids love climbing in this, so I've um, tipped it upside down to repaint it army kind of colour. And I've got the wheels off because I'm painting them white. Um, so I'm just going to do a short video on towable vehicles Um which would be good. On the front there, I've put a swivel part on the steering, so when you tow it, it's got a movement going up and down, so you can't kind of get caught up if you go up and, you know, if you go over bumps and things like that. These wheels were off of a, um, a mobility scooter called a Sun Gift, I think it was, but they discontinued model now, and all I've done, the, the wheels are solid tyres, um, I'm really good double bearings, too good to throw away. So where someone was chucking the scooter, what I've done is I've got this, um, took the shafts off, what the wheels go on, and then welded up an axle and bolted it solid. That's for the back end. On the front of it, I've just made a civil, uh, a very simple kind of swivel type axle. And obviously... I've had to make the body so the wheels don't hit it. I've cleaned the wheels and I've um, used masking tape from Poundland, quite cheap, to mask them up and I've sprayed them. I just need to take the paper off now and fit them on. I screwed some eyelets here and there on the bottom of this trailer so that you can put a tarpaulin on over the top if you fill up and then you can tie it down. Bolt with all the wheels on it now, I just need to spin it over back on its feet. This terrible trailer now will go great on the Jeep. I'm waiting for some bigger stars to go on the sides of it to finish it off. The lights I'm using on the bottom at the back, they're just bicycle lights from Poundland. Pound each, I've just cut the brackets off at the bottom so, the, so you can screw the bracket on and the lights just drop in and in. You can take them off any time. It'll look better once I get the biggest stars on the sides of it. You can put a tow bar on one of these ordinary mobility scooters to pull something along with the grandchildren in. This video is just to give you some kind of ideas of what you could make. You could make a boat, a tank, anything you want. It's up to you, whatever you're into. I've put on one of my other videos how to make a strong tow bar. Um, this is the first one I've not put any music on. All the best. Bye.